So I was arrested in Spain by a joint uh, force of Spanish and American police. I stayed in Spanish prison for about 15 months in the Spanish terrorist prison, trying not to get extradited. But eventually I was extradited and eventually pleaded guilty because so many people had grasped against me that there was no point me pretending I hadn't done it. So I pleaded guilty, uh, didn't grass anyone up, and was sentenced to 25 years prison sentence. Spring came far too early this year. If one's a criminal, then if something bad's going to happen, there will be signs of that. There will be some signs. There will be some symptoms, some indication. What for signs? Uh, like someone you trust behaving suspiciously, or even just a feeling you have, like a sixth sense almost, about something is wrong. Something doesn't make sense. You know, it could be anything, but you know there are signs. Life inside Terre Haute was fairly brutal, fairly barbaric. Uh, lots of gangs running the prison, but uh, some very good people too. I mean, I made a few very good friends. There. But you had to be very, very careful. What have you done in the prison? I helped people as much well as, as I could. Uh, I taught, and I was a jailer's lawyer, and I did yoga. And then, I suppose, the next turning point was uh, being released, really. I mean, that was, or knowing that I was going to be released, being granted parole. Because until then, I thought that I was either there forever or for a very long time. I didn't think I could possibly get out that quickly. So that was a huge turning point, probably the biggest turning point of all in my life. I haven't changed, uh, I mean, I have no remorse for what I did. Uh, I don't think I'm rehabilitated inside or reformed in any sense. I would do a, a dope deal tomorrow if I thought I could get away with it. I haven't had any change of character there. It's harder for me to do a dope deal now because of my profile, etc. and I probably never ever will. But there's no change in morality in me. I haven't learned my lesson that way. I look in the mirror and hear the refrain Shall I be human and drive Chris insane? Worry and fear about the results I'm losing safety and kindness To hell, to hell with the results I was lucky enough to be offered a lot of money to write a book, and lucky enough that the book was successful. So I haven't had to urgently think about it. How much time you I don't know. You know, I mean, I don't feel any safe. I mean, I didn't feel any any more vulnerable then than I do now. In many ways, I feel more vulnerable now because I'm more in the public eye. There's more notice of what I say. I might become a greater enemy of the government than I was when I was a drug smuggler. I do now have a social agenda in that I want to legalize cannabis as soon as possible. So I've stopped chasing money so much as trying to uh, make a better world or help to make a better world. Okay, das war's soweit. Vielen Dank, Herr Marx. Oh, 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 oh,